Welcome to a video on creating rich pictures with Insight Maker. I had mentioned before that we, we create models to help us understand things, to simplify the complexity, the complex nature or complicated nature of, of reality. One of the types of models that we develop are, are called rich pictures. They're they're generally very eye appealing though they are the less, the least um, com complicated in terms of the the rules that are defined associated with rich pictures. They are the, the easiest ones to draw. And while you could use a number of different primitives, we choose to use the, the picture primitive. The reason being that for the other primitives that we could use there are some restrictions on naming conventions because they're actually used in different kinds of models and and they're used in calculations so there are some restrictions on the labels for picture primitives there are no restrictions on the labels so I prefer to use them most of the time so I'm going I'm going to create a, a rich picture uh, that, that describes um, a, an interest-bearing account in a bank and the, the first thing I do is I select a picture and drop it on here. It defaults to an image that is actually selected from this, this pull-down list. And this is a reinforcing scenario. It's a, it's a snowball rolling downhill. What I really want is a picture of a bank. So I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type bank. What I can type, tell it I want to look at the images, and no, I don't want Bank of America. What I really want is is some uh, some clip art picture. No clip art. What do I want? Why does it say bank? No, I just want bank. Sorry, my mistake. If I just asked for bank, then I'd have got banks. Um, here's one. Let me go ahead and. And uh, oh, d here's one. I'll go ahead and tell it to open this in a in a new window. The reason that I don't use the images that are here is because they have a they have a uh, Google redirect URL associated with them. So if I tell it to open it in a new window, then it tells me where the the bank is really coming from, or the, where the image is really coming from, and I can re right click on it and tell it to copy the image URL. Then I can go back to here, select this, and paste it into the displayed image field. And now that the image is there, the la well, the label, which I haven't typed in yet, is actually sitting on top of it. So let me say this is uh, a savings bank and tell it that I want to put the label at at the bottom so it'll show up so I now have a savings bank and you can resize these images as you wish and it's good to put notes on them is where my money is kept you, you may think that this is sort of overkill, though what you'll find is that when you build the model, you'll sort out, you'll come to a, an understanding about different pieces of the model. Though once, once you finish creating the model and you go away and you come back to it six months later, you'll forget what all those pieces were that you, you thought of while you were creating the pieces so so make notes to yourself and they'll always be then they'll also be extremely useful beneficial to other people should they uh, take should you share your model with them so I now have some some money in the bank or I now have a bank and what happens is that the the bank actually computes an, an interest based on an interest rate. So let me go ahead and look for an image for for interest and I'll tell it to open this in a new tab 
and copy this URL go back here and tell it to create another picture call this interest rate put the URL in this field it's already at the bottom and I'll say this is the rate at which I get interest T E R E S T interest on my money so the way that a savings account works is that periodically the the bank looks at how much money I've got in there considers the interest that they're paying me and they com compute an amount of of interest that they give me periodically and that's in the form of money so we'll go find a an icon for money and here's a good one we'll open this in a new tab sometimes this doesn't work the way that you want it to because see the image isn't there so let me let me tr let me try this one here we go so we'll copy this image URL we'll go back here get another picture create this type in the URL call this periodic P-E-R-I-O-D-I-C periodic interest I-N-T-E-R-E-S-T typing is worse than normal at the moment um, the, the interest I get periodically based on the principal and interest. So so I'm making notes to myself about about what how this happens. So now that I've got these pieces I need to connect them together so that I know that that the periodic instant in interest is a function of the interest rate and the principal that's in the bank. Now but I but the interest goes back into the bank so rather than draw another line right on top of this one I'm going to select this hold down the shift key put a little a couple of nodes on it so I can move this out of the out of the way and then I can go ahead and draw this one back select it put a couple of nodes on it and move them out of the way so at this point I, n I now have a rich picture that says that, oops, sorry, I didn't want to do that. That the money in the bank interacts with the interest to create periodic interest, which goes back in into the bank. Though nothing happens unless I actually put some money in the bank. So um, let me go ahead and um, use use the same icon again but let me create another picture over here and say call this initial deposit uh, money I use to start the account so there's the initial deposit and that's also placed in the bank so I just continue to build this to have it depict what it is that the pieces that relate to each other to tell a story that I want to convey or that I want to help myself sort out about the situation or I want to to help convey to someone else so I'm, I'm there are a number of additional things that I want to do with this picture but I'm gonna go ahead and stop here and continue in the next video some some other things I want to show you about working with rich pictures so see you in the next video